We're still watching this line that is now east of uh, Highway 81, headed towards I-29. It looks like the Sioux City Metro will see some just uh, rain, possibly some pea-sized hail, but it looks like Sioux City would just see some rain, but we are keeping an eye on two severe thunderstorm warnings that are outside of Sioux City. So uh, first, this warning we've showed you already, but it's Plymouth and Union counties. Uh, this continues until 745. Uh, there are reports that Vermillion has gotten golf ball-sized hail, so this storm has a history of producing large hail. Um, this storm could see up to half dollar size hail and uh, some 50, 60 mile per hour winds. So again, this is for Union and uh, Plymouth counties. It goes until 745, has a history of producing large hail. Um, there was large hail already reported in Vermilion. This storm you can see now we're down to this warning uh, near West Point here. This is for Cumming County and this is, uh, is into a uh, until 8 o'clock, coming county until 8 o'clock, we have some 60 mile per hour winds there and quarter size hail. Coming county, uh, 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail until 8. This storm has a history of producing uh, some non thunderstorm related 70 mile per hour winds. Even egg size hail was reported in Madison right there in Stanton County. Madison had some reports of egg size hail that's two inches. So this whole line of storms has a history of producing very large hail and some damaging winds. So so please seek shelter uh, inside a sturdy building. So if you are in this storm, we have some very large hail with this system, damaging winds and frequent lightning, some heavy downpours too. Seek shelter inside a sturdy building and stay away from windows. We have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the southern half of Siouxland. It goes as far west as Wayne, just east of Norfolk, and it goes uh, into central Iowa. This goes until 11 o'clock tonight. And again, this watch goes all the way to uh, Des Moines and uh, south towards Omaha. We'll have the latest right here on KCAU. You could also follow the information at the bottom of your screen on that weather crawl. We'll send you back to programming now. Quick update for you that a severe thunderstorm warning for Plymouth County has been extended to include Hinton and Lamar's two and a half inch hail. Tennis ball size hail is possible with this storm. Again, this is for Plymouth County. That storm is just crossing over into Iowa. Hinton and Lamar's are included in this uh, warning. It goes until 815. The severe thunderstorm warning goes until 815. It includes Hinton and Lamar's tennis ball size hail is possible. That is very large hail. Please seek shelter inside a sturdy building. Um, some damage to vehicles is likely on, on tops of windshields shields on roofing. Um, please just get inside. That is very large hail. Now we're following this long line again. It's going now crossing into Iowa. It's crossing over I-29. That's a warning for Cumming County that's pushing eastward as well. Torrential rain and some large hail there. We're looking at just some rain in Sioux City right now. Possibly some pea-sized hails, but no warning for the metro. Again, that warning in Plymouth County goes until 815. Includes Hinton and Lamar's. So if you are in Plymouth County or in Cumming County for that matter, please seek shelter inside a sturdy building. Uh, there's very large hail possible in Plymouth County. Damaging winds, lots of lightning. Stay away from windows. We have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the southern half of Siouxland until 11 o'clock tonight. We'll have the latest right here. We'll send you back to programming now. Update on a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. First off, we have one just north of the Sioux City Metro uh, that was just extended into Cherokee, Woodbury, Plymouth, and Ida County. Runs until 9 o'clock. And this storm right down here for uh, coming Burt Harrison counties is producing extremely large hail, two to three inch hail. Um, so I'm going to show you these warnings. Um, this warning right up here, this includes Cherokee, Woodbury, Plymouth, and Ida counties. Cherokee, Woodbury, Plymouth, and Ida counties until 9 o'clock. It includes communities like Kingsley and Holstein. It will head to Holstein um, by 8.45 p.m. It's going to head towards Holstein by 8.45. Correctionville also by... Uh, 8.35 p.m. This storm right here is, pros is uh, capable of producing two-inch hail. That is the size of a tennis ball. Two-inch size hail is uh, possible with this storm right here just north of the metro. Sioux City Metro is not included in it, but uh, Plymouth, Woodbury, Ida, and Cherokee counties are. 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Moville is included in this warning. Correctionville, Holstein, Quimby, all included in this warning. Kingsley, the storm is pushing eastward, and we'll get to uh, those communities around 8.30. We'll get to Moville around 8.20. Uh, Correctionville around 8:35 and uh, Galva around 8:55. Again, this storm is capable of producing uh, two-inch hail the size of a tennis ball and uh, 60 mile per hour winds. So very large hail there. Now this storm down south here in. Um, Harrison, Burt, Dodge, and Washington counties. Harrison, Burt, Dodge, and Washington counties. It includes Tecama. This storm has produced three inch size hail. Uh, there have been reports of teacup size hail from this storm in Dodge County and it is continuing to push eastward into Iowa, just south of Little Sioux there. And it has the history of producing very large hail. This hail, two to three inch hail, is extremely dangerous. It will smash windshields on cars, damage roofs of homes. Um, it could seriously hurt you, so please uh, take shelter inside a sturdy building. Um, some reports up to here up to baseball size hail is possible here in this warning. Again, please take shelter up to baseball size hail is possible in uh, Dodge, Washington, Harrison, and Burt counties. Very serious uh, hail situation that we have going on here. Um, so if you are in those warnings, we have extremely large hail possible. Please seek shelter inside a sturdy building. Damaging winds also. There have been uh, reports of 70 mile per hour wind gusts as well, overturned pivots and, and things. So please seek shelter. Stay away from the windows. Again, these very large uh, hailstones are can come right through your window. We do have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the southern half of uh, Siouxland that goes until 11 o'clock. I will continue to have updates here on KCAU 9 and on social media. Um, so please just stay tuned and we'll send you back to programming now. program to give you another update on our severe thunderstorms here. Um, we have a warning for Woodbury and Ida County right here, Woodbury and Ida County. That goes until 9 o'clock for 60 mile per hour winds and half dollar size hail. And this little storm down here, this is Harrison County, and that is for ping pong size hail, 60 mile per hour winds. So this line of storms has a history of producing very large hails. I'm going to uh, zoom in on this a little bit. This storm just came from Hinton. It dropped hail very large in Hinton. Uh, golf ball size and even bigger breaking windows and homes breaking windows and windshields. Um, so this system is very strong and it has the potential to keep dropping very strong hail as it has through Moville, Correctionville and Holstein. Um, this again is for Woodbury and Ida County. It's headed towards Ida Grove. Lasts until 9 o'clock tonight with 60 mile per hour winds and half dollar size hail. This storm has a history of producing very large hail. Like I said, it's broke windows in Hinton, um, both home windows and car windows. So please just seek shelter from this storm. <laughs> And good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Fred Hexham here in the KCAU 9 Weather Center. It's been a bumpy ride here tonight for many parts of Siouxland. Meteorologist Elisa Raff has been keeping you posted on what's going on. And I'm here now to uh, provide some team coverage and perspective here on tonight's storms. You can see on our radar, things have definitely quieted down. No threat for Sioux City, South Dakota, or Nebraska at all. We do still have a line of storms stretching uh, roughly along Highway 71 and Highway 59, parts of it anyway, in western Iowa. But this stuff is not severe for from Spencer to Storm Lake down to Denison. We are watching this uh, slight flare up here in eastern Plymouth County. That's not severe right now. Our only warning currently is for this activity. That's in uh, parts of eastern Harrison County and into Shelby County. I'll put the uh, warning box there on that storm so you can see that severe thunderstorm warning will be expiring at 10 o'clock tonight. And we can see here the potential for some hail, maybe around one and a quarter inches on that storm north of Harlan as it moves to the east. Possibly around 1,000 people could be impacted uh, by that storm. So be aware of that. The threat here tonight has mainly been hail, and that's still the threat with these storms. Very heavy rain and hail possibly of one inch diameter or larger. Of course, it only takes about an inch to create some significant damage. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here on that storm. We just want to give you an update for those of you watching in Harrison and perhaps Shelby counties, what's going on in your neck of the woods. So east of Woodbine, uh, north of Portsmouth, 
west of Erling, that's where we have the storm, and just to the west of Harlan, this activity is pushing to the east. I'll put the radar here into motion so that you can see here the direction of the storm. Moving east, so Harlan will be next for the threat of hail up to one inch diameter, maybe even slightly larger. So if you're in that area toward Harlan, prepare for large hail, damaging winds and lightning. Seek shelter in a sturdy building and, of course, stay away from windows. A severe thunderstorm watch does remain in effect for southeastern Siouxland. That does include the Denison area until 11 o'clock tonight for uh, that neck of the woods there along uh, the uh, Highway 20 corridor in central Iowa and then down toward Omaha as well, that watch in effect. Now, this is really something. Look at all the storm reports here from tonight. Eastern Nebraska just littered with hail reports of uh, one inch or larger. Everywhere you see a green dot. A few reports of some strong winds. Wind damage around Oakland just before 8 o'clock tonight. Also some uh, winds gusting over 60 miles per hour near Craig. And then another report here of 70 mile per hour winds at West Point at 740 this evening. Also check out this report of wind damage near Battle Creek at 615. Hail uh, west of uh, Wayne around Carroll, Nebraska. Almost two inches. Also near Hinton we had hail reported about two inches had some reports of some windows blown out around Hinton here tonight as well. So yes, a lot of storms. The good news is things are starting to wind down, but now the pictures are coming in. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa is standing by in the Weather Center with a look at uh, some of the damage that's been done tonight. Elisa. Fred, the pictures have just been incredible. The images that I'm getting here, I put them, even the ones that I got on Facebook, I put them on uh, the KCAU 9 Storm Pins app. So let's take a look at some of these pictures. A lot of them came from uh, Hinton. Look at this one, a window blown out um, in Hinton. Let's see if we could take this picture full. Can we do that? Um, we have a window just blown out. There we go. And this is why we say to stay away from windows, because with the wind, the hail doesn't come down straight. It came right through this man win man's window, and he said, uh, thank you for the warning. So that picture came from Randy. Um, look at this tiny hail, but piled up like snow in Westfield, Iowa. This picture came from uh, Hunter Armstrong. Look how huge this hail was in Hinton. Uh, I mean, as, as big as a can, the Mountain Dew can. This one came from Cameron, really big hail. Um, even some hail that was not as big, but it's still golf ball size. Even the golf ball size hail did some damage in Hinton. This picture came from um, Mark Held. So just really incredible images. Here's some more damage, lots of holes in windshields in, Hil in Hinton. This picture came from Shandy. If you have any pictures and it's safe to uh, send them to us, please do so using the KCAU 9 Storm Pins app. It's free. You could download it on uh, Google Play and the Apple Store, but please only do so if it is safe. Uh, we'll, of course, have more updates here on KCAU United on social media. We'll send you back to programming now.